Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, and today we're going to be reading together, or I'll just read to you. All right. And the date is um, May 23rd. This is the book, A Little Time for Myself. All right. So you guys ready? Thanks for coming. And welcome to those who are, who are new, if you're just finding this channel. Um, I read and sometimes I share, sometimes I don't. Most times I share, but. Mm. And at the end, we will, um, if you're still here, we'll read um, or we'll say the serenity prayer, okay? So this, uh, all right, here we go. Let's see, make sure. All right, page 144, if you're following along, if you have the book. Some of us have the book now, right? All right. Oh, and I invite you to um, to comment if you, you know, if anything comes up for you and then um, share this content with somebody who may benefit. Uh, like, if you can, I appreciate that. All right, so, um, all right, here we go. When I was young, I was quick to point out when life wasn't fair taking it upon myself to right every wrong, including telling others how to live their lives. In the gentle sharing of other Al-Anon members, I began to see how the judgmental way I was living hurt my family, how it hurt my friends and me. Um, to maintain any relationship I not only have to accept others' choices, but I also truly believe that other ways of living are just as valid as my own. New perceptions. All right, so, um, so even if um, other other people's choices uh, disturb me today. I can have faith. They are on the path they need to walk. Everyone has the right to their autonomy. Because I was like, I like mine. I like my autonomy. So I would like to be able to accept others have it as well. And have that perception, you know? So today's reminder, if I'm struggling to accept others, I will remember that they too have a higher power to guide them, no matter how challenging their lives may seem to me. Okay. And then there's a quote from Discovering Choices, the... Um, there's many books that I read on this channel and they're all in the description below. So um, check those out if you haven't already. Um, I read every day, 99% of the time I do, right? All right, so um, the quote from Discovering Choices, Recovery in Relationships. I want to accept and appreciate my loved ones as they are and to let go of expecting them to fit my ideas because my ideas for someone else can be distorted. I have no, like, I, it's none of my business, basically. Like, they're, they're distorted. Like, I may, I, I think about that, like, what do I expect? Oh, hi. Hi, my Mac. It's a baby. Hi, baby. Hi. It's my right moon. And it's Scorpio full moon. So that's really cool. Thank you for coming over here and saying hello. It's been a minute since we've seen her, right? 
at least on the video, because normally she's, I don't really have like a spot for her to sit behind me. Maybe I'll set one up because I've been missing her in here. So, all right, yeah. So I'm on a table and so she's up on the table. I mean, my desk, it sounds, yeah. Cats on our table, but you know, cats go where they want to go. I accept and appreciate my loved one as they are. <laughs> and I let go of expectate expecting them to fit my distorted ideas or my ideas for them. So um all right. So the question of the day, it says here, um, in what ways does having a judgmental attitude harm me? Yeah, a judgmental attitude can harm me uh, because oh yeah, I've I had a judgmental attitude about um, a lot of things because I thought that that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to like hold on to my judgment like it was a psychic ability, and yet, and yet, I didn't use that psychic ability. I only use the judgment um, if it were, if it hurt my ego or if, if I was sick of hearing someone complain too much. So then I'm like, well, this is what they need to do. So I don't have to hear it anymore. Like that's, that's not having compassion for others. That's um, being miserable and discontent with my, oh, sorry. Don't use the, she's using the edge of the computer to, um, to like rub her face on it. Okay. All right. Come here. Don't do that. Oh. I added some, oddly enough, rose tea to my hot chocolate. It's very aromatic. I'm trying to like work on not being judgmental with myself. Because like first, like, okay, so how do I not be judgmental to others? So I have to work on not being judgmental to myself, but not in an arrogant way. I have to accept that I have to clean up my cholesterol. I have to clean up my, um, I have to, because I'm menopausal, I have to do certain things in order to um, get some muscle back on my body so that I can be healthy. Um, so like, I can do these things for myself, but I have to not be judgmental because that judgment is shameful. It feels shameful and it feels then like there's a pile of energy that I can't get through. So I'm all over the place with this, but um, open-minded, compassionate, is what I'm going for. I'm working towards it because I know that I've lived a long time wearing that I'm a good judge of character on my on my uh, inflated ego because I I absolutely have not been um, at least in my personal relationships with others that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I was. Maybe it wasn't so bad. <laughs> it got me here. It got me to recovery. It got me to the place where I'm like, oh, I need to learn from these things. And it's okay. It's okay to not be okay. And um, I surrender. I surrender. I'm petting my cat. I'm going to go ahead and go. Let's say the serenity prayer together, okay? God grant us serenity to accept things that we can't change, to have courage to change things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. I know that, yeah, I used to think, oh, I just know everything and knew nothing. So I'm open to learn something every day. All right. Least. at least for today all right i love you and i will see you god willing tomorrow with another reading
Right. Right.